and triggering evacuations out of Florida. People are traveling both near and far in order to get to safety. The New York area seems to be a popular destination. Richard Jacob is caught up with several people who are touching down in LaGuardia today. Ava Emanuel's 11th piece of luggage came off Carousel 5 at LaGuardia on Tuesday. The Emanuel's just came off a connecting flight from Tampa just hours before Milton makes landfall. September um, 6.55, 9 o'clock, the airport closed. This couple originally from New York moved to St. Petersburg just three months ago to retire and watch the beautiful sunsets. They've seen so much devastation from at least three storms since August that they've decided they cannot return. No, I'm not going back. <laughs> the whole street is dead. Everybody closed. Hotels, stores, uh, houses. As Milton barrels towards Florida's west coast, it's a mad rush to get out of the Sunshine State. Most airports have ceased operations. Brett Weisbrot, who lives in Tampa, was supposed to leave tomorrow, but his original flight was canceled. So he boarded up his house and drove 13 hours north, overnight to Atlanta, to make sure he got out. We had to change our 645 flight to 815 because we couldn't even get to the 645 flight on time. College student Mallory Kinahan left campus in Daytona Beach early and drove to Orlando. She was one of the few flights leaving from that airport today to Atlanta. All the prices were through the roof, extremely crazy, and all my friends were just trying to get to the Northeast as well. So had to figure out a way to get home because I live on Long Island. So had to go through Atlanta to come to LaGuardia. And at MacArthur Airport on Long Island, this couple flew in days before their family wedding. Now a proverbial cloud is hanging over their heads this weekend as they wonder what it will be like once they return home. When we get back, we're probably going to not have power for weeks. No AC, no water, no lights. And that is the sentiment here. Many people relieved and grateful that they got out, yes, but many are still concerned over their homes. Now, the closest major airport near the evacuation zones that is still in operation tonight is Orlando International Airport, but officials announced that that airport will cease operating operations as of 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. We're at LaGuardia Airport. Richard Giacobas, Fox 5 News.